What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, welcome to another video. I am out here at the pond, um, and we're gonna do some fishing today. Um, I think that it's gonna be a phenomenal day. I know it's gonna be a phenomenal day because I'm recording this after I went fishing. It was a little dark when I got out here, so I like to record when there's a little more light for y'all to see me. But it's gonna be an awesome day. Um, we are fishing in the fall. It is October 12th today, I believe. Hopefully I'll get this posted on the same day. Um, but right now, if you are a supporter of the channel, you subscribe, whatever you want to support me, like the video right now. Um, if you're watching my videos and not liking them, please just start liking them for me. It helps me as a creator, helps the channel grow, um, and I don't ever really ask at the beginning of the videos. But if you enjoy what I'm doing, just like the videos for me, please. But anyways, let's talk about what I'm doing today. All right, so today we are doing a whole lot of this and then a little bit of this at the end. But this is going to be the main focus of today. Um, if y'all can tell behind me, I've got a nice overcast sky, um, which means you can throw top water all day. Temperatures are cooling down. Um, it was about 60 degrees when I started out here, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal for the angler and for the fish. Fish are getting ready um, for winter, so they're in their fall pattern. They are feeding up heavy um, in the fall time, and they're going to be crushing bait fish. And when they're doing that, you can throw a walking top water lure and destroy fish. Ideal conditions are gonna be calm water like we have behind us right here. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna be throwing this Strike King Sexy Dog Junior, walking it around and crushing fish. So let's go ahead, get into this video and y'all get to laugh at me at the end because man, my life is funny. But anyways, uh, let's get into the video right now. All right, let's just get right into this. Start catching some fish. This is a Strike King Sexy Dog Junior, little topwater walking bait. And if y'all can see, we've got slick, calm conditions, clouds in the sky. Oh, I'm pumped. I wish I had my Guggen Twitch rod, because uh, that's what that, this rod, that rod was built for, just throwing this little lure. Um, but this lose hack attack will have to do. It's nice and cool out here, about 60 degrees. And I'm gonna be walking this little lure around, see if we can get a little top water bite this morning. Lots of little bait flicking around. I'm definitely seeing the bait moving, but I'm not seeing uh, bass blowing up yet. So no signs of the bass feeding, but there's definitely a lot of bait kind of schooled up. All right, I've got a lot of confidence in this throw right here down the side of this island. See if we can catch something. Oh, oh, got hit. I might just go ahead and throw back. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw back over there. Seemed to be a little fella, so not too upset about missing him. I would love to get a fish though. All right, back in there through the same area. There's probably more than one fish there too. There's one. Little guy. Little bitty guy. Not what I wanted. But that's a fish. A little bit of activity here this morning. Let's see if I can safely get a hold of him. Right there. Pinch him by those gill plates. Kind of Paralyzes them so you can get those hooks out. Voila. All right, little guy. Little guy, but we love any kind of top water blow up, right? <laughs> Let's see if there's another one there. Just kind of adding a little pause. I'm walking it, walking it, walking it, and in a good strike zone. I'll kind of give it a little pause there. I've got some grass hung up on my lure now. One more cast, just bombing it down the side of this, see if we can get anything to bite. These walking uh, baits, these topwater walking lures are just great at um, imitating shad and bait fish when they're fleeing on the surface because bass have schooled up on them. Um, a lot of times those bass, when they start schooling on the fish, they push them, push them up in the water column and they'll be right on the surface kind of running around like this. So this time of year in the fall, these lures can be just absolutely deadly. I got a lot of confidence we'll 
catch quite a few on this this morning. All right, in my experience, this is where the fun begins. This is more of a, the main part of the pond. And once you get to this point, casting down these main lake banks can produce some bigger fish. But we gotta fish the backside of Dink Island. You never know what's lurking. Ooh. Oh, did y'all see that? Ah, I got caught up on a little piece of one of those weeds and kind of paused it a little longer. I could see the fish waking on it, but didn't get a hold of it. Maybe this time. Yeah, there he comes. Oh, <laughs> awesome blow up. It's just a little guy. Also, my drag's loose for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was such a sick blow up. Just a little fella, but you know, catching them on the top water lures, I'll take a smaller bass, you know. <laughs> Got a face full of sexy dog there, my friend. Pinned them both hooks. Little guy, but man, he was feisty. Ooh, I hope y'all could see him start waking because like I called it before he hit because I could see him start uh, just tearing after it. I guess that water's pretty shallow right there. Oh man, it's exciting stuff. <laughs> might be a really good topwater day. I might never get away from it. We're supposed to have some good cloud cover today. If we can get some bigger bites on this. I mean, why not throw it all day long? Look at the action on that thing. Oof. Give it another throw down the island here. It's a lot easier when you use a softer tip and a, oh, we got a fish. He ain't bad. Uh, softer tip rod, lighter like action, I guess is the word. And uh, a shorter rod also makes it easier to work this. There we go, sexy dog getting the bass it's got a little bit of parasites or something right there all right get in there bud i think this is going to be a really fun day y'all um, let's see if i can make a good cast i did i made a good cast water's a little bit murky today um which is why i'm really excited that there's a nice rattle inside of this topwater lure and every time it darts side to side that thing is clicking like crazy. Y'all might even be able to hear it on the GoPro. Oh, let's hope I catch a fish before I get snagged up in these weeds. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, y'all, the bite is on. That is awesome. I've been waiting for the fall. I've been waiting for it. Because it is just an incredible time to go fishing. Little fella. All right, kind of just swiped at the uh, old sexy dog, huh? Got him in the cheekbone, gill plate. I think that might be like fish number four, which is nuts, nutty. <sighs> they are feeding up. Uh-oh, looks like I've got a bent hook. Let me take care of that real quick. Just grab your pliers and bend it back in shape. Okay, looks good. I would love it if bass would just start busting on the surface, schooling on some bait fish, but I don't even know if they have schooling bait fish in this pond. Um, a lot of bluegills, what I'm gonna assume the fish are eating, but I mean, just that bass instinct, you know, they see something like this on the surface. It might be a better imitation of a shad, but they're gonna hit it, man. That's a free meal. And they're just fired up right now. Getting ready for winter. There's one. 
stink. <laughs> Little. Little fella. Come on now. Monster. Mondo. <laughs> All right, buddy. Did catch him out in the middle, though. So, you know, we'll give it another throw. as it hit the water. It's kind of ridiculous. They're just dinkers though is the problem. Little guy. Sorry if it gets a little noisy. Got guys uh, doing some maintenance out here. Oh. Very close there. There's one. Just a dinker though. Just a danker. little fella how do we get big ones this is a large bait <laughs> I would like a bigger fish <laughs> if that's not too much to ask for little fella I have no idea how many fish we've caught it is a good amount for sure if inner one, inner one, if anyone's wondering, I did get this Sexy Dog Junior off of shopcarls.com. I get all of my tackle needs from Carl's Bait and Tackle. And they're actually doing something very special this week. Hopefully I will upload this video um, Tuesday, October 12th. And starting October 12th and going through October 18th, Carl's is having their first ever members week. So if you are a members on Shop Carl, if you are a member on shopcarls.com, they have all kinds of crazy deals they're doing this week. I don't even know like the full details of all of them. I know there's like going to be some exclusive lures, um, you know, lots of really good discounts, good deals and stuff. But also, if you're not a member, you can do a free trial this week and get all of the members week benefits this week. So if you ever thought about using shopcarls.com, this is a perfect time to go ahead and do that. Just to get it, I mean, you can just test it out. It's a little free trial and you get all the benefits. So go ahead, try it out, see if you like it. I like it. <laughs> There's a fish. Another little guy. It's okay. Woo! Well, it's a fish, all right. I'd say that's a fish of the largemouth bass species. I really just can't believe I didn't catch one off this point, which means I need to get back to it. Seeing a lot of little bait fish and these little patches of grass growing out in the water. And I don't know, I'm kind of wondering if, uh, Maybe a spinnerbait would be doing better. Ah, bad cast. Hopefully I didn't ruin all that fishing. But, you know, I'm catching a lot of little guys. And I'll definitely catch little guys on a spinnerbait as well. But 
Spinnerbait could do a better job of imitating um, bluegill in this water. And it would also be a bulkier profile presentation that could, you know, get more uh, large fish to bite. I do want to throw this around a little bit longer just because it's so much fun. Why is it underwater? A fish? What the heck? You know what? It's diving. Put in its mouth, maybe? So weird. But yeah, a good old spinner bait would probably be pretty good out here. Got a nice chartreuse and white one, which would be fantastic color for this water. Wouldn't exactly look like a bluegill, still looking more like a shad, but certain things I'm okay with. There's a fish. Little guy, dang. Little, little, little. Cover a lot of ground with a spinnerbait too. Spinnerbaits are just an iconic, classic fall lure as well. And I wouldn't have to deal with the treble hooks as often. I don't like how he's hooked, I gotta get the pliers. Little buddy. Okay, well how about I make a deal with y'all. If I catch one more dink, I'll switch to spinnerbait. A little bit of chop on the water now too, which uh, that plays in the favor of the spinnerbait. Which I know everybody loves top water, but don't we love big fish more? And I wanna teach y'all, you know, th through my experiences and through me coming out here and doing this, I hope that I'm helping somebody get better at fishing. So, I think it'd be really good to tie on a different lure and compare, cause I mean, I've gotta be close to double digits on this sexy dog by now. But one more dinker and we switch. If he's nice, like in the two pound category, debatable, um, I'll keep throwing the top water. I know some of y'all are screaming, throw top water because you won't be able to for long. And I know, I know that, but you know, I really just love catching fish. There's a fish. And guess what? It's a dink. <sighs> well, I'm a man of my word. So that means spinnerbait is coming up. And I'm thinking spinnerbait should produce a little bit better results because look, I think we're still gonna catch fish, but as a fisherman, if you're gonna catch them regardless, do you wanna deal with this all day? No, you want one hook. So that's what we're gonna switch to after I get this guy off. I'm also terrified of taking treble hooks out of a fish's mouth. <sighs> Little fella, hell. All right, you did your job, sexy dog. Time for something else though. All right, y'all, we've got a Guggen Squad Zinger, chartreuse and white right here. Um, and I'm about to catch a 10 pounder on it. Probably not, but I'm gonna put on a trailer right now. I love a good trailer on my spinnerbait for a few different reasons. Um, I think that it adds more bulk to the spinnerbait. So I don't know, bigger fish. Also, when they get close, if it look, they look a little, if they're a little like skeptical of the profile. This little um, swim bait right here can really uh, seal the deal on them biting, in my opinion. So we're going to add this bad boy on here. And I also am a firm believer, don't ask me why, I think that it helps uh, your hookup ratio. I think they bite more in the middle because they want that meat or something. I don't know, it helps them lock in on it. But we will be throwing this. And let's see if it does anything to help us with size, numbers, let's just see. I can tell you what it is definitely gonna help with and that is my wrist. Um, I get to do a steady retrieve now with this spinnerbait and I'm, I'm excited about that. I believe I had something. Oh. My reel broke. Oh no. Broken reel is not a good thing. Um, I might have a fish on still. I do have a fish on still. I don't really know how to do this. I guess I'll rod between the legs and reel. Okay, this is the goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on, boy. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice one. <laughs> okay, 
Well, I'm sure y'all have seen it all now. Uh, he's decent. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's some tomfoolery right there. Uh, I don't know what to say. I guess I'm done. Dang it. I brought one rod, one reel. That is a bummer. Do y'all see what happened? That's definitely best fish of the day, though. Maybe my spinnerbait theory was right. I'll let Buddy go, and we'll talk about what the heck just happened. <sighs> so, okay, this is a mess. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> okay, let me just show y'all specifically what happened. I've never heard of this happening. It's definitely never happened to me before. Also, I realize I get really close to the camera for no reason. So, right there, you see this this right here? Notice it's missing on the other side of my loose reel. It is in the rod right there, on right above the trigger. It broke off right in there, so the rod did not break. I still have a medium heavy rod. I am now down a reel, unless anybody knows how to fix this. I don't know how to fix this. I do have other reels that I can put on this rod for now, so I'm not KO'd. Man, I'm taking a hit with the gear lately. This is uh, it's actually really, really, really bad luck. Dad gum. Dad gum. Interesting catch though. Was that a cool catch <laughs> or what? Um, but I, I guess that it's that's been a long time coming. Um, I've noticed that my reel's been rotating a lot in the rod. Um, so it might just be time for new gear. Um, this isn't one of those combos that's like a super heavy duty, fish it all the time, every day kind of combo. I'd say it's nicer than your basic Walmart stuff. Um, maybe $130, but um, I fished it hard for over a year. So I'm not upset about like product quality or anything of the such. I really liked the reel, really liked the ride. Um, you know, I don't treat myself the best, so I'm not gonna blame a company or anything like that. But um, we gotta figure something out. Fortunately, the worst part about this is that we were having an amazing, amazing day of fishing. And that is coming to an end, unfortunately. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, guys, girls, uh, if stuff like this happens to you, shake it off. It's just gear. Um, it's unfortunate, but at the same time, it's replaceable. Uh, so I'm not gonna react or freak out or anything, you know, um, I'm I'm blessed and well provided for so Losing a rod and reel even though I don't have tons of them. In fact, I'm, I'm down. I, I really have got to throw some Some stuff together to make this work now, but uh, I'm okay. Not a big deal But if you all enjoy the videos, please like the videos um, If you do that for me, it helps me it helps the channel grow um, and that's that's what I want this to do. I want this to reach more people. Um, honestly, it can provide for me and my wife more uh, if I grow more, but I want this to help y'all. I want to offer something to you. I want you to get more out of this than I get out of it um, with, you know, wherever you're at with fishing. So I love coming out and fishing and just taking y'all with me and you can learn from my mistakes or what I do right. So I had a blast while it lasted today. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in future videos and I'll get on that for y'all. I have big news coming up. I might be posting something this week about life update kind of thing. And yeah, um, just love all the support y'all give me. Leave comments. I want to talk to y'all more, interact more. You know, I don't want this to be just like me and a camera. It's me and a community. So leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. That is the biggest way you can help me grow. But yeah, um, thanks for all the support. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.